Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these fresh cream cupcakes. Let's begin. To start you'll want to line your muffin pan with some cupcake cases and then set aside until you need it later on. To start on the cupcakes you'll want to grab your mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place all of your ingredients apart from the milk. Then mix everything together until it's fully combined. It should be a pretty clear batter. A few lumps here and there won't really matter but it should be almost pretty clear. You can then go ahead and add in some milk and this will just help to make the consistency of the batter smoother and also help make the batter lighter. You can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and divide the cake batter between your cupcake cases, filling them around two thirds or three quarters of the way full and you'll want to repeat this for all of your cases. You double the recipe if you want to make 12 cupcakes as this recipe does only make six. Once you've filled your cases, you can then go ahead and place it into your preheated oven. All of that information is over on the blog post, so don't forget to go and check out the description. There'll be a link for that down below. So while your cupcakes are baking in the oven, you can go ahead and start the whipped cream topping. So into a large bowl, place your double cream, along with some icing sugar and just a touch of vanilla. You can then go ahead and whisk everything together until it's fully incorporated. And once it starts to combine, you'll notice that the mixture gets aerated. This is completely normal. You will then want it to start holding its shape, so it'll go to a soft peak and you want it to be near almost at a stiff peak but not quite there as when you're putting it into the piping bag it will continue to whisk then you can transfer the whipped cream into a piping bag which has been fitted with a nozzle of your choice and then use it whenever you need then once your cupcakes are baked and cooled you can go ahead and core out the center of each cupcake as you'll want to fill it with something and i'm using strawberry jam but feel free to use your favorite type of jam or whatever filling you like You can then go ahead and take the whipped cream and start piping it on top of your cupcakes. Pipe as much or as little as you like. I went with quite a lot. Probably the same proportion of cake to cream. Because cream is lighter and it's richer, you should probably use less, but hey, it's Christmas, why not use a little more? Indulge. So here I've got the cupcakes look like once they're fully baked, cooled and finished. As you can tell it's very simple, you don't have to go over the top of the decoration as the flavours really speak for it. And once you cut into them you'll see that it's quite pretty as you've got the cake, the jam filling and the cream. It's all quite light and airy so it's not heavy so if you don't want a fruit cake and you want something different, definitely give this recipe a go. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again tomorrow with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to all my social media where I'm trying to post more daily. Don't forget to go and follow me over on there, but that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.